tick tock Time on a walk on the hip hop Sala nigga no pare jo Kya kancha zamanya no ko pancha chana Le kancha patu ya hula panda Tick tock Oh, yeah. I go ladies and G's, yeah. boys and G's. Yeah. It's the Forbidden Son of Athletics, Karabu J. Um, different episode of Beyond Athletics. It's episode two, season two, episode two. Um, we're at a different location, a special location, a special location. I am with um, you, introduce yourself on these videos. Um, you choose who. You <laughs> might say I'm Billy Boy. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's I'm Malisela Senona. Sure. Uh, I'm from Etridgeville. Uh, I'm a sprinter. I do 100 meters, 200, 4x1 relay. Yeah, yeah. I'm four here. 4x1 relay. I'm here with my bro. Edge, you mentioned 4x1 relay. <laughs> People never <laughs> do that. <edge. laughs> <laughs> People never do that. Pain, nah, yeah. People never, People never do that. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this location is special is because we we are both from 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 Atridgeville. We're both from this place. This is basically where we both started our athletics. Oh. Now I started athletics. Um, okay, well, uh, I started athletics at school, but this is where I got to really know about athletics. Oh. I got to really get the feel, yeah, 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 the club level, yeah, competing on ASA level or what oh, right. that level I got to know it here. This is this is this is it. No, Maybe right. I'll show the people after this what I'm talking about or oh, I'll set the clip. No. This is it. This is the track. This is the stadium um super stadium. Oh, and right. it's level three. I will allow about mostly but they do that today. Mm -hmm. And we don't have our mass. <laughs> ah, <geez. laughs> and and what's 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 for me and you, ne? Yeah. This is a special place. And how did it start for you? I'm talking about athletics, which is me asking you the first question I always ask yeah. everyone. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special edition. So it's not me interviewing him, but us having a conversation. So now, what I would like to do is for people to get to know the athlete by a conversation. Uh, you get it? Uh, yeah. For, for me and you to have a conversation, but the people get to know you better through the conversation. Uh, so now, uh, question is how do you first get exposed to running or athletics uh, I got I got I got exposed to running for the first time in in primary school mm. uh, in grade one sure but uh, I wasn't training I was just running and then in grade five You're fast yeah, I, I beat the guys at school, but sure. Now you fell over the beach. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so in grade five, I met Goodwill Salamel. Cheeks. Cheeks. Yeah. Then he told me he trains here with Coach T. Sure. And the other guys, and I, I was like, oh, hey. Then I, I remember I came here for the first time. I came here in jeans. This was 2009. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I came here in jeans and like my, my school shirt, like our Friday school shirt. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I pulled up, then they told me, yeah, Coach T is not here. Sure. He's, he, he was actually running Yellow Pages in, sure, sure, in Cape sure. Town. Then, then I was like, okay, then what should I do? They said, I, you can just chill, come back on Monday. But you must. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> But you mustn't, you mustn't, you mustn't come in jeans, and you must sure. like dress up like somebody that wants to run. Then yeah, I did that, I and mean, yeah, I started, I started training from mm. that Monday, and yeah, I ran, I started running races, like Asian races, like in, in. This was that grade year. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started running Asian races that year sure. in September. Yeah, that was my first season. You've been doing this, must. Yeah. I usually feel like um, Banababa Tumiling athletics at that level and at that age yeah. are most prone to be sort of successful oh, yeah. because of you, you, you sort of developed your body at that young age oh, yeah. to that Fair. level. Fair. Because I, I, I look at a lot of athletes too, mm -hmm. as much as athletes can say whatever, whatever, whatever. If you really started training at a young age, mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's so, there's, there's, it's an advantage to me or to me that hard training at 2016. 
Why one? Yeah, you, yeah. you, you, I, I don't know, Ju. Have you, have you seen it though? I, yeah. I, 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 I agree with you. Sure. Because you, you check uh, that, that whole 10,000 hours theory, I actually believe it. Like that if you do it? something for 10,000 hours, you, 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 what's this? You, you, you can perfect it or you, you, you sure. yeah, like if, like 10,000 hours yeah. normally, especially in track, because you train like, four hours a day max yeah. 10,000 hours could take like 10 years sure he gave me like 10 years wow. of training and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah. thought about it 10,000 10, hours yeah how of many training. hours do I have of track Mar? yeah <laughs> 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 like, hey, it's a few joke. if he started in 16 maybe it's less than 5k it's a few joke. yeah it's less than 5k yeah yeah literally yeah but 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 the distance guys we have a lot of kilometers in our legs oh, that yeah. i can see oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah i was i was even thinking about it out of the gilushi and i was like i probably have like over a thousand kilometers in my body oh, like yeah. ilinka oh, yeah. mara yeah. never thought about it that much so from there obviously what happens is you start running you start racing you you start doing all that you're doing and the reason why I'm, 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 I want to share this story is because you are one of the hopes that came out of this place. Oh, yeah. You know, you are one of the, the, the people, Pailong Hori. When I came here, it was a Tuanale oh, yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So, 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 I came here 2016. I'm not getting to how we met. I came here 2016. Um, yeah, I'm training, I'm training, I'm training. I hear about this guy, Mali, 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 go to accident. So, 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 so. Yeah. I don't care, you. No, I don't care. I you know, hot like I the first times. You don't yeah. even care about what's happening. Yeah. Well, now I share an affair, like, that's it. But now I was, I was, I was really interested in, in, I got information quickly. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's who I am and who I was. I, mm -hmm. I could get information on races, do this and do that. Mm -hmm. I'd pitch up to races. I remember that year, I even watched 2016 AGN Champs. Mm -hmm. Without racing, or when I just went there on Friday, chilled, watched it, and that's the first time I saw you. But I didn't care. I was like, no problem, little baby car, the wind chicks on, and I didn't care. And then, yeah, AGN passed. Oh no, before AGN, you actually ran schools, Gauteng mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. and your special somebody at that time was sleeping and they woke her up and they were like, Bean is racing, you know what? Mm -hmm. And I was going VIP area, the, the, the one with the glass window. Yeah. I was watching that and then you won and then like, but I didn't know at the time who it was you know, or yeah. what was happening. But then obviously later on knowing you, I was like, oh, that day. <laughs> that day? Sure. Um. So yeah, Asian came after Asians. I got to know the face, the name, mm -hmm. and then you came here for the first time um, with me being here. How was it for you? Because I think where you were and coming here, mm -hmm. the feeling here was different. How was it for you? Um, I, c I can say it was, it was different mm -hmm. from, from what it was before I left. Sure. Yeah, but I couldn't tell what, but also because I didn't stay here anymore. Yeah. You feel me? But I know it was really different, especially uh, going to, to Tux. Mm. Like you, that like when you're training at Tux, there's a lot of people in the stadium when mm. you're training. And like I didn't know about that until I got there. So when I came back here and like you find here, there's only 10 people in the yeah. stadium yeah. at a time. So I feel like, yeah, that was the, like basically the only difference. Like, like sure. the the amount of people that are in the track at a time when you're training yeah that is, is it i felt it before is it is it is it peaceful in a way training i felt like that it's peaceful it's, oh, it it's is. less sort of pressure in a way oh yeah because you know like it it's it, it's natural like when you're running sure. you, you're thinking oh who's watching it sure you, yeah and when there's more people watching more pressure sure. less people less pressure you more relaxed to your own thing 
But uh, sometimes that pressure is good because like yeah. yeah. No, no, you, if you, if you, sometimes even clock times that you never thought you could. Uh, now run PBs at training only because of the stadium when you change. There was uh, a lot of people who uh, were uh, like uh, shit. Uh, 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 so yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah. But when I come here, it's, it's peaceful. I'm relaxed. Mm. Or I can be, I can do things the right way. Uh, or I focus now on the smaller margins that no, there's actually this, there's actually that, there's actually this, there's actually that. Mm. But do you remember the day when we met? Uh, I don't know. I don't know when, <laughs> when I saw you for the first time. It was that day. You came back. It was just before SHMs. Mm -hmm. You came back. Uh, we were chilling there. Uh, uh, yeah, Joe. I don't know what you thought about me. Uh, yeah. I didn't think much about you. I just thought, what is it? that's the guy, my uh, Leo, uh, they've yeah. been talking about. But yeah, XC, uh, And oh, conversation was about you knew people from my school. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And then we sort of I mean, had a conversation. Uh, yeah, from there on, obviously, sometimes would pop in, pop in, pop in. Especially after the season has ended, mm -hmm. we pop in. Yeah, and then we got each other's numbers. Yeah. Started speaking on WhatsApp. Yeah, and and and, and what what the, the English people would say is the rest is history. Yeah, 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 the rest yeah. is history. Mm. Today we are here. Mm -hmm. Where we are, what what do you classify our relationship as? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Because <laughs> uh, sure. I see. Uh, Athletics was we both in the athletics community. Sure. You my homeboy. But uh I could say friendship but in a mild sure. way because I'm not your homie like call you every night sure. or like you get what I mean. Sure. But uh, I could say friendship like in a in a cool way, like <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Legit. Nah, yes, nah. Like, how how would you classify it? I think you you put it at best, you, you, oh, yeah, you, yeah you, you, you've done it justice. Yeah. Um, yeah, Joe, I think in athletics, you, with you, somehow I feel like it's much more bigger than the others. Right? You mm -hmm. meet a lot of people in athletics. You, you could call all of them that your friends, but not really, Joe. There's oh, there are some people that you know, um, on a different level oh, because of how they think. So, the, the 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 mistake I think we do as athletes and the athletics community does it. We we tend to make friends because of they are fast, they are mm, athletes. That's, that's but true. then there's those people you meet in the athletics community where you just feel like, nah, man, that the way that guy thinks, the way that guy speaks, mm. the way that guy is, could be a good friend or could mm. be a good person to talk to. And that's that's how I feel. Um, we we are at when I when you came in here, we I was on some, I was I was slow, I was the slowest athlete, guy. No, no, no. You were one of the fastest athletes in South Africa mm. at that level, ne? Yeah. But because maybe of the way we think or the way there's something common we had, yeah. we could speak. Yeah. Or well, well, not because of the the athletics. What what, what should I call it? The relationship or something. No, no, but no, have no. you felt like athletes do it? Your athletes build friendships based on you are fast. I've heard maybe no, no. be fast. Yeah. And, and you will see how many friends you will have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's like that. Like, well, also like, cause you know, when you when you're doing sure. something great, you need to surround yourself with, or you don't need to, but like, it always happens that you surround yourself with people that are like, doing that. Sure. So, well, wait. Are you asking like, at least first people being friends with first people, or yeah? Oh, how how Have uh, you ever felt that like when when you were in your youth? running the 10 3 and now all these like have you felt that okay now i have new people in my circle now i have people that are coming close to me that possibly would never even be my friends yeah, I will, I will. sure i will and it, it's not just like first people like mm. just normal people Everyone, sure or like people that you run with but like they're not necessarily like on that level sure yeah they chill with you more and but like yeah I think also it's because like they they like they'll be like looking up to mm. what you do. They also want to sure. do what you're doing. So like, obviously they have to get close to you, or, like learn how you do what you're doing. Sure. Well, that's like me personally. I know I I I, I would hit people like at a higher level than me because sure. I want I want to know how why they're there, yeah, or how they, they think sure. and how they see things. Sure. Because that's where I want to be. But how how does it play a role on your 
your mind and your well-being as, as an athlete um it's, it's it's one of the topics we need to mm. have um because the people around you sometimes have something on your well-being as a human being mm. the people around you have some sort of influence on the things you even do no um, do you think um having that as an athlete having that surrounding or obviously it feels good mm mm-hmm. mm ne mm mm-hmm. maybe comes a point where by it goes away the people go away and everyone goes away and you are alone mm mm-hmm. are you okay do you need um more people around you do you need now attention are you now somebody who seeks attention from people that's 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 oh like when now the people are away yeah and yeah. you don't have what you had yeah and what yeah. do you think about it just the whole being of an athlete or on on a broader basis i think i think like you saying like surround like you looking at who you surrounding yourself with and like mm. your surroundings in general are 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 very key in sure. when it comes to mental health sure like it's 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 it's, it's important to like not just mental health also like your progress in what you're doing sure but with mental health and and I, I, i think you need to look at who you surrounding yourself with because you you never really know what someone's intentions are yeah or you never you never really know what someone is looking to do do to you or that's the same thing sure and also you 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 don't you don't want to surround yourself with people that are like doing things that are going to be detrimental to what you're doing mm. at that time so you don't want to surround yourself with people if you're an athlete you don't want to surround yourself with people that party every time you don't want to surround yourself with people that you know mm. do things that that could could disadvantage you somehow in 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 yeah Talk, like thing about you don't want to surround yourself with people who party all the time you know? yeah i usually feel like as athletes we we some people get tested some mm-hmm. athletes get tested some don't and mm-hmm. we we get tested i'm talking from a personal point of view now because mm-hmm. look at where i'm growing up look at um the people i call my friends these are people who are nine athletes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they sort of believe in a type of way of living type of way of doing things no oh, yeah. they are going out maybe every weekend yeah and here i am i have a long run on a sunday i can't go out on saturday yeah am i taking away that 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 experience from myself or is it now back to what are you doing it for but i'm just trying to 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 look at and get into how mm. you can have friends mm-hmm. that are not even athletes mm-hmm. they will somehow push you there No. Oh, yeah. And are you not supposed to go there? Uh I think I think it, it's also like looking at how you doing what you doing. Sure. Like you you don't want to go out like if let's say those people are going out every weekend or like sure. almost every day. Sure. You can't do that cuz you have to wake up and train. Mm. Like I feel like you 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 need to look at like your priorities like look at what sure. what what matters. Okay, what am I doing tomorrow? Mm. Or, can I can I actually have a drink or not like it's it's not bad to have a drink or like mm. party or like do anything sure but like if you have goals you want to achieve you need to do things that are gonna you know help yeah. with achieving that goal I felt it man you feel me yeah that and and to 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 the setup that you were at yeah I'm in high school man I I also feel this way and I've told more I think I told more that when you are at a setup like Taxport High School it's a sport school oh yeah. focused on sports mm-hmm. um I felt that it sort of takes away the human being in you mm-hmm. the really? the childhood the teenage life it takes away that part of you mm-hmm. and maybe drives you to become a more athletics 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 yeah, athletics yeah. athletics is all you think about mm-hmm. is it good or bad and am i being am i am i correct if not can you correct me uh i think i think it's it's like i think mm. like we said before like everything has pros and cons mm. like it's like it's like slavery for example like 
as much as like slavery was bad but then it got work done because like mm. like you do more work when people are like treating you badly or like sure. they like do this like you you your sure. mind is like yeah when you mm. in a in a in prison like kind of form mm. you work hard and like a lot of work will be done and sure. therefore there will be results but then for your mental health and mm. like cuz you also have a life and like also you oh, you are going to have a life after athletics yeah so like you don't want like oh, I wouldn't want to be like consumed on something that I'm not going to be doing my whole life mm. or, or I don't know if that makes sense it doesn't make sense to me but sure. but what I'm trying to say is uh it's it's important to ish I'm losing my point we're going to have to edit this <laughs> nah I don't edit it's raw you know, draw, <laughs> Baba. Okay, sure. yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, Gather yeah, your thoughts yeah, and yeah. yeah, my thoughts are. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can ask me something different from now. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I heard you. I heard you that. Yeah. It has its pros and cons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told you. Things that. get done. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, well, no, it's yeah. okay. Things get done. Yeah. Um, I'm now looking at the mental side of an athlete. Um the mental health we've spoken about this before um the thing is you you were even afraid of coming out mm-hmm. and talking remember there was a t- th- that time i said nah dude it's okay we just put a camera up but yeah, yeah. never mind it we just speak yeah, yeah and i'm just trying to get into how does that happen how does you not wanting some things to happen as an athlete mm-hmm. um where your mind is about it where your mm. mind is about different things as well uh shit i i don't know i don't think i can put like mm. like a point to it and say that's that's that but uh there's a lot of like with me personally there's mm. a lot of things that like I, I i i went through in the past three years so like like i went i, I left the track sure uh i left school uh the like there were there were other things in my life that were happening that sure you get what i mean i, I was like yeah so i can't point and say uh, i was in this point because of this or sure. this point or that point so i, I will just I, I don't understand why i was in that state to be like yo bro I can't come out and talk about like you get mm-hmm. what I mean. I don't know or cuz there were a lot of things that mm-hmm. were going in a way that I could say now that's not dope or that's not dope. So sure. yeah, it was just a mix of a lot of things at once. Yeah, I could say that. Would yeah. you say maybe there will be a day you you will write a book or she your entire experience with someone yeah, uh, a book i don't know cuz like some things deserve a book <laughs> i'm not like i'm sure. not like a, a creative yeah. or something like i'm not like even reading books like i've only read one full book <laughs> but there's a lot in my mind actually. there's a uh, lot uh, uh, sure. but there's uh, i'm not like but it maybe one day you mm. I'll, I'll, I'll be in a different state and i'll be like okay but right now I haven't thought about writing a book or anything. Mm. Yeah, I just enjoy sitting down with people having open conversations. conversations sure. You know what I mean like trying to trying to get people to hear what I say, trying to hear what people got to say because we all we all have like we all experience stuff. We all yeah. have eyes, ears and everything. Yeah. So we all have something to say, bro. Yeah, solid. No. Uh a lot of reference from the topics we're going to have is based on maybe you mm-hmm. um because you're the guest you're not you're not are you the guest you're the guest yeah you're the guest you're not the interviewee but you're the guest no um you 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 went through changing coaches at one point in your life ne ah we it wa- it wasn't really changing coaches mm-hmm. cuz remember i was under coach t then yeah it wa- yeah coach t was 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 assistant to 
Oh. Coach Henny. Sure. Then I went to Coach Henny, then back to Coach T. So I was basically in the same group, just changing coaches in the same mm -hmm. group. I want us to have a conversation about that. Yeah. Because um, I feel like changing coaches mm -hmm. plays different roles for different athletes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's big in, mm -hmm. in the athletics community. It's, it's important as well. We need to embrace it. It's not a bad thing at times. Mm -hmm. um, like, sorry, example me. <laughs> you know the coaching situation here. You um, knew it. Um, not the best. Um, I don't even mind talking about it. I think I spoke about it last year or something. I changed to you, Coach D, UJ. Mm -hmm. My life changed. Um, Literally, my athletics life changed. Saw things differently. So. Um, a different philosophy, different mentality to athletics. Mm -hmm. And there's athletes who move from, I'm not gonna be specific about the names of athletes, but from institution to institution mm -hmm. to get this coach from, you know, province KZN to Northwest to get a certain coach mm -hmm. running now 45 something. Mm -hmm. um, you probably know who the athlete is. Mm -hmm. So looking at that and how it works out good for the athletes, what do you think about changing coaches in athletics and how has it been for you with, with that as much as it was assistant head assistant head uh my opinion is like yeah it's it's not it's it's not it's not very good or like it's not it's not very informed because mm -hmm. like like you said i haven't changed because co changing coaches is, i think it's more about changing philosophies mm. like if if i'm moving from coach t to coach any the philosophy is almost the, sa almost the same almost the same because they're in the same group well, do like, you think it's the same well that time sure it was the same because like, oh. it was assistant coach to oh yeah. you gave me so yeah it was almost the same thing but like i think that there's there's a lot of things to consider when you're changing mm. a coach like you need to consider the personality type, like mm. what type of people you 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 act better with, or you 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 are more comfortable with, and and vice versa. Like mm. you you need to you need to like like looking at back to like your surroundings. Sure. Like your coach needs to be somebody you you think will influence your your circle in a good way. Sure. Or whatever. And another thing is. Well, you wouldn't know much about the technical part of it, but there are athletes that understand sure. the technical part of the game. Sure. But you, 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 you will have to get a coach that works with how you run. Their technical plan needs to correlate with how you run, your, your running style, how just, and like your weaknesses and your strength. Sure. Because you know, some people are good at starting yeah. or whatever, like. Finishing, yeah. Uh, I think when you consider, when you watch, when you, changing coaches you need to consider a lot yeah a lot of things and yeah I, w I wouldn't be able to like mention everything because there's a lot of things I think you need to consider sure. and there's no perfect formula for like you c there's no perfect coach for somebody like do you, they, th do you think so yeah I, I don't I, well, I don't think so because I feel like there's there'll, there'll always be more ideas mm. being made and like how do you know that idea wouldn't work for you Sure, because it's new. You gave me. You haven't tried it, so for you That's, to actually yeah. know, you have to try every coach. Yeah. You get. You, you never people really do know. it, Joe. People, people change coaches like. Ah, well, people change. Ah, well, people true, change, true. People change. But <sighs> with you, you had a coach from a young age, ne? Mm -hmm. Same coach from a young age. Um, even now. Mm -hmm. Uh, when, when, when looking at. Maybe the transition from sub youth to youth, youth to junior, junior to senior. Ne? How was it for you? And I think comes a point whereby you say, Coach, no, 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 let's have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Not this is what I think works for me. This is what um, I think is good for me. Has that ever happened with you? And how was it? How, how was now the, the transition from being a junior athlete to a senior athlete? And how is it now? like transition meaning like how how i interact with the coach yeah from junior level to senior level sure uh 
Like, yeah, the, the conversation becomes mature, obviously, because mm. you grow. But uh, you, for you to have that conversation, like, for, 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 for you guys to have an open conversation, mm. like, you have to have a healthy relationship. Like, you need to develop, like, you need to have a healthy relationship with a coach in order for you to, like, have those kind of conversations. Because, like, it could come out, like, if, let's say, you're, like, trying to say, oh, I don't like doing this, it could come out as, like, you're opposing their opinion. Or yeah. you know, like some people, like or some 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 coaches are like, like, like think like that. Like, sure. Oh, this this guy thinks sure. he's he's big headed. He's trying to oppose me or whatever. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's not like that. But the, but like yeah, like I'm saying, it's 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 important to have a healthy relationship with your coach, so that if you yeah, you can't have such conversations if you guys are not good because it's always gonna seem like mm. the other person is. You know, yeah. sure, sure, sure. And and have you have you have you had those conversations like, coach? This is me. This is what I think. Uh, no, not recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say I have. But in the past, have you said that this is what works for me? And would you advise someone to do that? Yeah, not not in the past, nah. Because I felt like everything was working, like, sure. Maybe like before before I went to tax, I was too young to like know what I'm doing yeah. on the track. You know, I wouldn't yeah. be like coach. I wouldn't yeah, do sure. that because yeah. But when I was in tax, I felt like everything was working. I, I I didn't feel the need to be like yo. Let's do something else, cause and I, the system was new and it was enticing. Sure. It was like yo. You gave me. It's, so, it's, it's, yeah. it's a good system for you. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah. I, I. 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 It's yeah. You could say. I don't think I've personally had a conversation, but I have. That's the thing I have. Um. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't a. Um. This is what I want. This is no. It wasn't me making demands, but me possibly trying to find out more about. The coaches' philosophy, the coaches, um, what what they're doing, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm currently being coached by a sports scientist. Mm. So I feel like I trust this guy with my life because he understands the science behind the sport before he can even be an athletics coach. Mm. So he understands the human body before he understand, like he understands what you need mm-hmm. before. Well, when before he sets out the program, he understands oh, yeah. what you need. So. It's different, Joe. It's different. Um, this week, this week, today's today's Thursday, by the way. Today's Friday. This week, on Mondays, we were doing eight times one k. Oh. Uh, with one minute rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And we were hitting them hard, Joe. Uh, yeah. Like, like one minute rest. You you finish a k. One minute rest. Boom. No uh, yeah. And I'm looking at that. Is it's something that you know, a lot of people don't do in South Africa? Uh, yeah. A lot of people would rest longer, mm-hmm. but we don't. Yeah. And 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 what it gives us is a lot of good insurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm getting to the next topic now, which is trusting that process, trusting that system. Mm-hmm. I have never been in a position where I've won nationals, I've won provincials. Mm-hmm. But the progress I've had is good, mm-hmm. and I trust the the, the process. Um, it has allowed me to 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 learn a lot about the sport. That you don't wake up and become fast. Oh, um, you you go through so many days of working on, like sprinting. You 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 work on a lot of sprinters. This is what a lot of sprinters do. Work on maybe their power, strength, off season breaking it down to that speed. Um, coming maybe when the season opens, you guys do a lot of speed work, a lot of speed work. You yeah. need to work on this, you need to work on that, you need to work on that. Um, I've learned to trust the process in that, in all, all, all that coaching system and all that. But as an athlete, comes a time maybe you question that process. Oh. You're like, but I've worked and done this and this and this and this happens. Why? For example, maybe someone like you, who has had um, injuries mm-hmm. in the sport? Have you questioned the process? Mm. Yeah, all the time. Mm. Like doubts, 
Oh. But, but do you still believe in it because it works? Yeah. But the, the, uh, what I'm trying to say is mm-hmm. sometimes you you just say, okay, this is me coming out from 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 from, and that leader has never been fast on national level. Mm-hmm. I'm like I've been doing this for a very long time. Yeah. Is it what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Is it the life that I live outside of athletics? What is it? Why why am I, why am I not champion? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. Well, I can't answer you, sure. like, personally, uh, why you not, like, champion, but... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, but, but <laughs> I feel like, like, trust in the process, like you're saying, like, is... I, I like to make these things very, like, literal, like, mm. when I'm talking about, like, the process, the vision, mm. like, your mission. Like, if, if, let's say, like, you were trying to go to... to because being a champion mm. or like reaching a place of success is basically a place. Mm. It's just that it's abstract, it's in your mind. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. a place. It's like it's like if you you were gonna leave your place right now. Some and people drive. call it the promised land. Ah, yeah, 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 in football yeah. they call it the promised land. Ah, sure. yeah, yeah, legit, legit. Like you you if you would take your car now and say I'm going to 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 to, to Limpopo. Mm. The only thing that will stop you if you like if you turn back or like give up. Sure. You gave me like the, like you are gonna get there if you're actually going there. I don't know if you get me. I get it, but there's so many things that happen too. Oh yeah. There's so many things. I've I've also been hit by uh, some injuries that I thought, you know what? Why why am I doing this? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Questioning my commitment to the sport. Why am I doing this? No. Oh, Had has that not have happened with you? No, it happens. Mm. But like I've, I've well well with 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 most of my seasons sure i haven't had like i haven't cut a season like because like or like or because i'm injured like especially mm. early like I, 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 I would take time like because my goal is to compete sure you gave me like my mind is on competition more than anything so i i haven't been in a state where like i i would like cut my season because i'm injured and, like mm yeah so i i can't really yeah i can't comment really on that mm. i've never yeah went halfway and said now nah. i remember yeah. we were training this other day yeah. no we we're not training now i was just there watching you guys i was actually taking a video that day yeah last year remember that Kumur? Kumur. Kumur. Ah, we, ah, we, ah, we. Kumur, ah, we. the park ah, we. Yeah. Ah, ah, we. um you were like behind joe ah, we. you were like now for from what i saw is was this guy was focused on himself mm-hmm. on what he really needs to do mm-hmm. like you were not rushing anything just taking it easy mm-hmm. and it's true mm-hmm. out of that entire group you're probably the only person that has survived this far without an injury or running mm-hmm. why, why 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 what was in your mind at that time now that's what i'm asking myself what, what was this guy thinking <laughs> at that time it was actually a difficult time at that time i was actually just trying to get away from my difficult situation or like sure like yeah the, the 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 state i was in in my life but uh in terms of track like like this season especially like my approach mm. towards it wasn't i don't think it was right because sure. i had like i came with expectations mm. and like which is how I, I I look back now. I feel like there's something I shouldn't have done, mm. because like, which is like like having expectations, like sure. saying like, oh yeah, I wanna go and end my season with like a ten whatever. Mm. Oh, I I wanted to like open up with like ten to like run a sub ten. Sure, <laughs> you give me. It's 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 but it's good to 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 have those. It's great, yeah. like like thinking big and and all. But like, I wasn't being like very realistic mm. you know like being away for two years sure like uh was this not having was this gym facilities sure because it was it yeah. was yeah i couldn't pay for for my gym at the time sure i don't want i'm i'm telling you everything <laughs> sure. yeah sure. but but 
yeah, I didn't have gym, gym, gym money. There were there were other things like in my in my in my life I had to stop prioritizing, sure. and I couldn't. Uh, there were yeah, there were there were a lot of things. Sure, that that yeah. affected that. Yeah, legit. Sure. So, I lost my the thought. <laughs> you were on 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 what was happening at the time in your mind, but mo- now yeah, most yeah. importantly, I was just trying to find out what led you to. I think this is this is what I'm thinking. You you I'm thinking that this guy knew that no, relax, have the patience, trust the process. We work on this. You were like literally bouncing. Uh, nah, I was, that, that's definitely not what was in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? I would be lying if I sure. said that. Yeah, I was, I was, I was more frustrated then. I only got to that like mm. mental state now, like after the CEO during this season, and I mm. started seeing that. Oh, that's where I was. Like, I started seeing that it's, it's, it's not, a, it's not about like results. It's about like fixing those inputs. Like, sure. How, how can I, like, make sure my input is on a high level and not think yeah. about results because results are a reflection of input. Like. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm also oh, yeah. seeing athletics differently these days oh, yeah. because I'm, 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 number one, I had to go back to why am I doing this, mm-hmm. you know, and I love it. I have a passion. Most importantly, I want to compete then to win. That's me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's me because I'm not doing it just to win. If I'm doing it just to win, that means every day I lose is a bad day for me at the track. Exactly. But every day I'm on the track, I love it. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. So I had to go back to that and I was like, okay, so what makes me a better competitor? Not a better winner, but a better competitor. Mm. Is It's all these components. It's all these me waking up doing my own run consistently. Mm-hmm. Me waking up, going to training. I might not be the fastest at training, mm-hmm. but me putting in that work is me having progress tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing as beautiful as running a race three weeks, four weeks later and running better than you did the, the, the previous weeks. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Legit. It fools you up as an athlete, even if you didn't win. Oh, yeah. it, there's just something about it that says, wow, oh, this yeah. feels good. So I've, I'm also focusing on those small things that I need to recover. Mm. I need to sleep. For me to be able to run a PB next year, I need to do these things now. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm more focused on now. What am I doing now oh, to oh. be better in Jan, Feb, March? Mm. Ne? So that's that's that's. You say you're not even thinking about that. I thought this guy is relaxed. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. But yeah. you say you, you were going through um, the most. Yeah, I guess yeah. you're going through the most and and and. Do you think you're in a better place now mentally? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. No, nah, yeah. that's, that's good, man. It's 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 it's. They they, they say time heals all wounds. Is it, <laughs> is it the case? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, the I case. think so. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's look at the sport. You know, to talking about what what's happening and how you put in this big input to perform later, man. Mm-hmm. And the state, the sport athletics is in now. Mm-hmm. Locally and internationally. Mm-hmm. Um, COVID had a lot of people thinking the same way. Why am I doing this? No, yeah. COVID had maybe some pro athletes being broke, going back to yo, what's happening with my life? Mm-hmm. We've lost a lot of athletes, mm-hmm. which we haven't seen this year. We are maybe gaining some new athletes. There's like Athletes who benefited through COVID. Do you see people winning SHMs, people coming through, <laughs> running first times. You're like, where, where is this guy coming from? Uh, what do you think about the state of the sport now, um, locally and internationally? I think it's great. Like it's in a great, it's on a great level. Sure. Is that the right word? Yeah. Like I think, yeah, because you have, what's this? You have three guys that already mm. ran sub ten, and even those part two hasn't run it legally. But you have three but guys. You can see it. It's in him. Yeah. Our, and fourth guy is ten oh eight. 
yeah. I think in on the on the I'm I'm basing it, I'm looking at it from a spin point of view. Sure. But there are a lot of other things happening in other events. But like locally like mm. it's in a great level. Like just looking at that hundred meter shape I, I can see that now nah, the sport is, is fire. Because two the past two years only sure AK been running nine seconds, you get me? Or the past three years or something. The that last is, time this gift. Sorry? It's actually the first time in one season. That's not the first It's time. not. Twenty seventeen was the last time three yeah. guys did it. Subtain. It was AK Tando. Wade and Tando. Yeah. And you gave me so it's 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 and twenty seventeen was a great year. That mm. there was Philip Porch year. Uh, there was you get what I mean. Yeah, twenty seventeen was Philip Porch, twenty seventeen was World Champs. Yeah. Yeah, actually twenty seventeen was a good year for stuff in athletics. So uh, I think it's it's in a it's in a good shape. Internationally mm. Uh, I think it, there's a lot of world records. Mm. So there's oh, the the women, the ten thousand world record. Yeah. I don't think we've ever seen anything like never that. Never seen like, anything like that in the same, yeah. in, let alone the same year. Two days. Uh, <laughs> two days. <laughs> uh, I said it last week. Yeah, I was like, it has never happened before. Two days. Legit. So that that, that that's that that's an indication mm. that you know for me, or like like everybody actually like should should be able to see that now. Nah. But there's just, I don't know, I'm looking at it from an analytical point of view. I analyze a lot. Yeah. There's just something that's happening that nobody's telling us about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie. Uh, there's yeah. just something that's happening. I don't know. People are running fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the sport is, is as much as we, we have different ages in the sport, mm-hmm. we've had the early 2000s. Do you know that age? Those, the, those early 2000s, the, where the distance people were really breaking records everywhere. And oh, everywhere. you mean the, oh, yeah, yeah, like, the early, yeah, there uh, was that age, the, mm-hmm. the early 2000s, and then came the sprint sort of age, you know, 2009 to 2012, where mm-hmm. actually there was a lot of sprinters running good, and yeah. they, they were, they would, they would, anyone would break the world record at that time, that's what we believe. Mm-hmm. But now, oh, yeah. woo! it's crazy. Emana, everything, every event. Oh, yeah. This, if if they, they they say there's a league today, mm-hmm. you know that someone is gonna do something crazy. Oh, yeah. If they say there's, there's a there's a high profile meeting in Europe, something, something is gonna happen. happen. Yeah. You miss it, you see it on the news the next day. Yeah. So that's the thing I'm talking about. It's just I don't know, Joe. Oh, I yeah. don't know what's happening. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's. Nah. Be- I don't know. Is it? The advancement of technology, the information, mm-hmm. is it the motivation from me? Oh, because I think COVID also came with the opportunity to run can be easily taken away. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, yeah. You know, and then now people thought, when I get the opportunity to compete, I'm gonna kill it. Yo, no, I, I, I don't know, Ocho. I just don't know. There's just something. Yeah. I'm sure you can feel it. You can see it. Yeah. This, there's just something about track and field now. You being on the track, you're excited. You're like, maybe I could even run a world record. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Joe, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah, ah, you yeah. know what? I'm capable. Joe. People yeah. are doing it. I'm capable. And the other, I'm, I'm, I'm also um, focused on the small things. Joe. The small mm-hmm. things. The, 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 the pre-season things. The off-season things. It's big. It's no, important. Yeah. Did you? Um, Talking about the state of the sport, it, it 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 takes me to now the champs that we just saw last week, mm-hmm. NCAA championships. Mm-hmm. We've spoken about it off camera. Mm-hmm. Um, while what's happening, the the the, the structure it is under, mm-hmm. um, basically the way it's run and the way these people have so many opportunities. Uh, structures that support the athletes mm-hmm. compared to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I recently was asking someone, mm-hmm. do you think South African athletics or USA can get there? Uh, How? I th- sorry. And what, do you think, what do you think, think about so. NCAAs? Mm. I, I think so. I think it's possible because it's like building structures is sure. resources. So if 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 there's re- I think anything is possible to start with, mm-hmm. like nothing is impossible, and how it's how it's gonna be done, 
is 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 that's 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 the part that's the like how something part. is gonna yeah. be done but whether it can be done or it it will be done it's it's it, it, or it can be done is like you can't you can't really it it can be done mm. but it will be done it's up to the people it's will other will other people uh invested in sure. in in wanting to do that and is there resources to do that and that's you the think case. there is in south africa well there is well i, I think there's resources in south africa but uh, i don't think mm. like there's access to them or, or they they easily accessible accessible mm. but uh, i think there's resources uh, have you have you been in a position where you've seen that okay south african athletics has this south african athletics has this what do you mean um like from your personal experience going through whatever that you've went through the the the, the events that you've went through and and like the life that you've maybe have seen which maybe i haven't seen yeah. do you think it's possible i will Mm-hmm. Yeah, and not even just saying from from like the belief that anything is possible. Sure, just from like realistically. Thing. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think, like, I think South Africa is 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 already growing into becoming a big athletics nation. It's 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 evident. Like, you, it's it's easy to see. Mm. You get what I mean? There's 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 people, more people go in the finals. Like when when I started running in two o nine, like. Like I couldn't look up to a South African sure. that's in the hundred meter final. Sure. Like I couldn't. Like the, the the best guy when I was growing up was Simon. Sure. And Simon at the time, like he would go to Worlds, but he wouldn't make it past, you know, those stages. And like that's 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 where mentally my mind was. That's how far I can get. Mm. But like now, like with AK making finals since Rio, every year. Sure. You get me? So we don't know what's going to happen in the next 10, 20 years. Mm. But like, if you're positive, you can like look at it from a progress point of view and think, okay, 10 years ago we didn't have it. Now we have a finalist. Okay, maybe we can have a champion. Maybe sure, we can have sure. champions. Maybe we can have a winning nation. Or like, mm. But I think if, obviously, if, if, if for progress to happen, you need, you need to like always look at what happened in the past and how now, you can sure. you know change it moving forward so if you can do those things you i see great things for the sports in south mm. africa and, and yeah who do you think for the sport yeah can i was at usa championships ne? yeah truck and full championships and hey, it felt good man the championships mm-hmm. are good i mean we had our first sub not sub 10 uh-huh. At at Musa. Yeah. Yeah. Um most of the athletes that were there, some of them well. Yeah. Olympic qualifiers, um they've gone to world relay championships, they're running good times, times that can compete on the international stage. Oh yeah. And comes the NCAA's D one champs. <laughs> Completely on another level. Mm-hmm. And I said it last week um, on, 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 on my WhatsApp, I said, these are the best collegiate or university championships in the entire world. Yeah. Because I saw it actually feels like those are the world champs. Those people are running world champ standards. Those yeah, people, yeah. It, it feels like it's crazy. Oh, now, yeah. I'm just, the, the, there's, a, there's a huge gap between South Africa and that. How do we get there? That's, that's what I'm trying to find out from you how do we get there most importantly how do we even take the first step uh, to to becoming like a big mm. collegiate country because i feel like if we do that that means from high school there's something good uh, if high school is good that means from primary there's something good uh, so for us that's that's my 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 thing yeah, I mean. for us to have a good collegiate or university athletic system it all leads back to the primary school the grassroots I mean. and i was i was thinking about it i think a lot about athletics i was thinking about it back at home i was like the actual reason why maybe at times our school level athletics or our school athletics is not big is because 
South Africa prioritizes clubs than schools. Oh. We, we, to, to a certain extent, yeah, clubs go to schools to take athletes from schools and say, don't run for the school, run for the club. Yeah, I hear you. You get it? Yeah. So now you don't have athletes. High school champs in South Africa just yeah, win it. Yeah. You don't get credit. Yeah. Even with USAs. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are big for us, maybe university students, to understand that these are points for university. This is this. It's on the level, at the same level as NCAAs. Um, you might qualify for World Student Games. But, we, we, like I'm saying, we, 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 we prioritize club athletics more than school athletics no. from primary level. There's, primary, there's club coaches who go out to primary schools and say, I want that kid in my club. Mm-hmm. But the, that coach does not go to the school and say, let me coach the school. No, you get it. No, yeah. Sure. So that's me. What's Maybe happening? the first step we need to do is focus more on the schools. Yeah. Focus more on our club coaches going to schools oh, yeah. and not chasing money because when coaches actually go to schools, they chase money. No, oh, yeah. the check is good. Yeah. It's, it is good. Yeah, yeah. But let's not do that. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I think I, I agree with you. Mm. Like I think especially the development side of athletics mm. needs people the kind of people that are gonna run it mustn't be people that are just like trying to pay their bills sure like the whole is it also like the, the asa board like mm. all these boards that facilitate or like uh regulate the sport like i feel like you need to have people that are have the the sports interest at heart at heart sure you feel me like people that like for example have you seen like like in silicon valley or something like these tech companies mm. like the cu- mo- the cultures in their companies to grow it's like mm. they don't hire someone somebody that's just like oh i want to get 30k like mm. when they interview they want somebody who's passionate about what they're doing who's passionate about you get what i mean mm. so i feel like for, for 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 that to happen as well we need more people, more athletics and enthusiasts, you know what I mean? Mm. More because, yeah, like, there's a lot of people that, like, are out of jobs and, like, like they don't have anything, especially in the hood, like, mm. in Atridgeville, like, that, that would be interested in, like, coaching kids. Mm. And really interested, not just, like, say, okay, I want, I want 5K a month, like, mm. somebody that really loves athletics. And I, I feel like those are the, those are the people that can that can change sure. the sport on a human resource level. But we, we, we don't shine enough light on those people. We, we don't. We don't. We we even our university coaches. Are Personally, I'm at the University of Johannesburg, and there's three to four sprinting coaches. Oh yeah. But the distance guys are the ones that probably placed UJ second. Uh, yeah. We didn't have a lot of sprinters. There were, there were not a lot of sprinters. We had Cheswell Johnson even moving from the long jump to sprint. Mm-hmm. Got injured. Um, but just looking at that, do 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 like our is our 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 board members or our higher structures even focused on the university that finished second is not even sprinting. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do you understand where I'm going? They are not even focusing on that, but mm-hmm. we might be focusing on tags as a club, UJ as a club, but not the the, the, the school system. Do we have better coaches at the school system? Uh, do we have... For me, that's that's me. That's me. That's that's my vision. That's my dream. Mm-hmm. If we could have... We, we, I spoke about something that that's happening, mm-hmm. um, but that's behind the scenes. I'm not going to talk about it now. But... If we could have a team of coaches, uh, managers, who are passionate about just growing the sport at university or school level, um, the same way we would have it in football, there's your head coach, assistant coach, second assistant coach, there's your fitness coach, technical coach, there's goalkeeper coach. You know, if we could have all these different departments and the different people assisting in these departments wouldn't we grow we would i think i think we would yeah but yeah. the focus is not on that yeah where is the focus the focus is on the clubs the focus is on getting a running a sub 10 the focus is on 
pushing pressures to running a Olympic qualifier, no. which which he is, he is very close to it, and I wish him well. But that's where our focus is. We look at our university students. One university student is actually the only athlete to run a sub three forty in two years in South Africa. No, who's that? Fifteen hundred, Elvis. Mm. But crazy, he's not in the university. He's not been coached by a coach in the university system. No. He's an external coach. Legit. But yeah, it's it, 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 it's how, cra how crazy it is for me. Imagine now if Elvis would coach a university. No, no. A lot of athletes would be better. Elvis is the coach of Ryan and Pachel and Dutikundi Mande. You know, those mm -hmm. athletes, a university, a whole university could be better. Mm -hmm. And now the university would recruit better athletes from high school. No, no. Legit. Sure. Um, we don't have a lot of time. Actually, we don't have time at all. Um, I wanted to talk about this. It's something recent. We spoke about it before we shot this video. It's mm -hmm. something recent. Um, the, 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 the now doping. Um, mm -hmm. Listen to this. Um, there's been 196 doping cases since 2017 mm -hmm. in the sport of athletics. Mm. Um, we recently found out about Shelby Hulihan. Couldn't resp or couldn't respond to it or couldn't share comments on it. I'm I'm sharing it with Mali now. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that case um, and doping as a whole in the sport? Just to summarize it. Don't let's not extend it because mm. I know we can extend it. Well, I will. Sure. Uh, pers from a personal point of view, mm. uh, no biasness. Mm. Like. I, I don't agree with it, like. Sure. Yeah, I don't agree with doping or. Sure. I'm I'm like a natural normal citizen, like. <laughs> I, sure. don't, I don't I don't I don't agree with it, but like we like we spoke before. Yeah. Like it, it has it has pros, mm. like performances Crazy enough, go yeah. up, like people perform better when they're on when they're on drugs, which mm. is which obvious. Is some, somehow good for the sport. Oh yeah, but. The, the the big part like i think i've told you it's character mm. like the well, what it teaches you like i feel like with everything it's if everything you do it's important to like know what you're learning from whatever sure. you're doing like like the, the the value of what you're learning sure what are you learning from what you did and and like just looking at it at, 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 at drugs is like it's a shortcut mm. in a way if 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 he's speaking about performance, like, like in my mind, like you know, shortcuts are like sure. you know. So, but uh, I don't I don't I don't fuck with it, like, mm. from a from personal perspective. But I don't I don't judge anybody that does it. Or sure. if I if I know, I I don't I don't have a problem. But I I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah. Have you, have you, have you... I'm guessing when you say you wouldn't do it, you haven't done it. Yeah. Have you been approached... Uh, you don't have to name specifics, uh -huh. people, places, whatever, but have you been approached, have you been told, that, dude, do this? Have, have you been in that space where maybe even know somebody personally doing it? Yeah, pers know somebody personally doing it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because uh, obviously, yeah, I'm in the sport, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, but to, 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 like, be in a group of people and say, let's do it. Obviously, like I said, I never did it. Mm. Uh, what's the other, what's the third one? Have you been approached? Have I been, uh, I have been approached by a lot of, like even in the gym, like if, you know, like <laughs> those big niggas <laughs> come sure. to you, like you want something, uh, yeah, like I've been approached a lot, yeah. Your example is, is a PR answer. Oh, yeah. Telling me about guys in the gym, <laughs> I don't know about guys on the track, dude. <laughs> uh, nah, on the track, nah, nobody's been like, ah, yo, 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 bro, let's, nah. I've never, like nobody has ever tried sure. to like, nah. Never? Nah. I feel like people, like, I don't know, I feel like people don't do it. If I did it, I did it, I wouldn't be, like, <laughs> telling people, sure. like, yo, it's let's it. do it. Sure. Yeah, I would, I would be discreet about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And 
final thoughts the Shelby Julian case Shelby Julian case yeah uh, like I usually like you just told me like yeah. about it now like really yeah I only saw like one picture on Instagram I don't know you like burrito <laughs> sure. I don't know sure. <laughs> yeah I don't know bro because it could be a story yeah. it could be real I don't know Joe. all I know is like that shit is not good mm. yeah this is what I'm thinking then yeah. um, could be controversial could be one of the biggest things in track and field mm-hmm. but I'm all about it Joe. Mm. Um, I'm all about being honest um, being free being opinionated um, but it's allegations this is my opinion this is what I think I'm not saying that's what happened mm-hmm. yeah? I'm thinking that athlete and coach knew the others in the group might, have, might not have known but athlete and coach knew mm-hmm. because remember in a group setup you're also in a group setup yeah? your conversation with the coach is not another person's conversation with the coach True. you have a conversation with the coach and yes there's a conversation there's a general conversation which the coach has with the entire group but there's those private conversations only you know what you and the coach said right mm. this is what i'm thinking coach and athlete knew they were like yo this is happening um we've been caught mm-hmm. what do we do let's make up a story leading up to those days of the test leading up to those days of one two three this happened we went to oh yeah we could actually um and the other thing i usually uh, this is me i usually think that whenever there's a doping syndicate happening there's a doctor involved mm-hmm. so a doctor might be protected from all of this no oh, yeah. so now the doctor is like you you guys need to protect me <laughs> you know you guys need to protect me so now these two are like okay how do we protect you this doctor is like no you know the um nandrolone this is what we found out in meat and pork there's a lot of this mm. in pork mm-hmm. so say this you know mm. and they're like yeah plus i had a burrito the other day <laughs> this is this is like, you, you get it this is the story we're running with yeah because there's only one focus on this the person but in all cases in the past of doping and all that like in the history of doping you remember those those what is that guy Ben Johnson there was even a doctor that was found but now the doctors are not even sp- sp- like are not even mentioned in any of these cases because doctors are really being protected mm. that's what i'm thinking that's like i'm saying it, it's not it's it's a theory yeah it's a theory mm. it's just me if it's a conspiracy theory then <laughs> 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 so that's what I'm thinking that yeah. they said you know what to protect this and to not make it a big thing to also protect the image of the athlete the coach Bowman Trail Club let's run with this story yeah and that's just about it that's what I'm thinking no I don't I'm not I'm not buying it no, I'm really. saying the athlete and the coach knows yeah no, really. all the other parties they might not know no, but really. the athlete and the coach they know there might be a doctor behind us might not be uh, yeah. but yeah this just about it um Legit. let's close it you um what are you 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 what's your vision now what's your future plans anything you're planning like well uh, in terms of track yeah just life anything life. yeah i'm trying i'm trying to run at a high level again like mm. i miss that like True. running like yeah at a high level Uh, also, I also I want to run sub 10 bro. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Want to run sub 10. Yeah. yeah. I want to run quick. That's 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 mostly that, that that's mostly mm. yeah where I want to get to but like like I said I want to like change my approach like no not just I want to run sub 10 mm. like last year but I, I want to change my ways you know change put like look at my input like I I want to stay I think my goal is to really look at my input side mm. of things and fix that like cuz i know if if i do things the proper way mm. like res- results will show like results are like yeah they very yeah was this uh tangible is it tangible yeah. no intangible or like they but you could say tangible as well can you yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. results are something that you can 
possibly hold on to and see if you have a medal at the Olympics. Ah, yeah. you want to but like, yeah. But the weight of gold, you like the the value of gold, you is, is 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 something that like. Mm -hmm. I feel like more athletes or as athletes we need to understand like you were saying now sure like having a healthy relationship with the sport like you will not go you're not gonna you you love running yeah but you're not gonna go crazy if you lose every week sure you get what I mean like, yeah yeah you need to you need to understand that you you should you can't go for the gold you can't go for the win because that's what we're ultimately going for but you need to be in a healthy point which is sure. which is in a case that w what that actually means is like even if you don't win that gold you're still gonna be you bro. sure you gave me it's sure. not gonna take away anything i feel like yeah that's 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 uh, that's that's where like that's a healthy place that's that's that's, that's a that's a great place to be like chasing a goal but knowing not getting it won mm. yeah and what are your plans Give us the exclusive shit. Give us the, you know, this is what I'm planning. I want to. <laughs> what are you planning? I <laughs> uh, like, honestly, like, like I said, I just want to, like, get my, get my shit together. Mm. You know what I mean? And like I said, the results will reflect, like. And in life. On the track, off the track as well. Mm. Like, results will, will reflect whatever comes out from from me will be like what 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 I'm yeah what I, what I'm about to do like so we should be on the lookout uh yeah i guess <laughs> i guess bro always but be on obviously the it's not about now hey look out for me no 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 yeah, yeah. i guess yeah always be on the look cuz i I'm, I'm working on something i'm training i'm sure so you must always be on the lookout that something will happen cuz sure. i'm i'm working and yeah i like I, I have no doubt that like results will come like i speak with utter confidence yeah. like no doubt sure like the the only problem is doing the right things doing the right things you sure. know proper plan proper strategy and really following up to sure. those things and yeah nice man nice what um, do you think about job saying who qualify for olympics who jobs and mm. yeah i think yeah i think yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm biased with Anna, nah. so you know I'm <laughs> I'm AJ fan. Nah. So nah. I don't know. It it has to be something big that he has to do. Yeah. yeah he cool. needs what twenty point two? Yeah, twenty point three. Yeah, twenty point two. Yeah. Yeah, but I I, I be, I'm a believer. I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can nah, do now, it. Now I'm critical as it is. Yeah. As it gets. Now nah, I'm that person. If I'm gonna be wrong, yeah. Be. yeah um, I respect that. These are the spikes. The, the, the. I must, I must oh, appear. I hope I'm not messing up with the sound. Yeah, yeah sign there. Yeah. Whoever you want to sign. No, it feels like they're calling me, Mara. They're not calling me. Um. Yeah. Lastly, ne? Ongala MS or Infinite? Nah, I'm just my signature. Oh. It's like S. Oh. Lastly, what what would you tell? 19 year old Malaysia. What would I tell the 19 year old me? Yeah. Yo. Uh, don't worry. Mm. Yeah. Like, because I know when I was 19, I was very worried. Like, I was worried about a lot of things, like, like my life is falling apart type shit. Mm. So, yeah, I would say don't worry, because. Sure. <laughs> everything will always get will be good like that's what i would tell myself sure, like sure. just don't worry <laughs> relax yeah Aye. Right. would you say it was a good episode oh yeah it was it was nice <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. um ladies and g's boys and g's it has been the forbidden son of athletics karabo j with an episode of beyond athletics um mope it's actually getting dark i hope the lighting is not bad I was with MS, Malaysia Sunon, Mr. Running Mate. He didn't even speak about Running Mate. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, another day. Um, uh, yeah, let me actually announce it now because we spoke about it and agreed. We are, uh, he's going to be a new member of the Trek Insider ZA Extra. 
the track inside the ZA Extra will be a feature or a different, a smaller than a segment um, of the track inside the ZA, meaning that we will, we will have um, a live show every day of the athletics events at the Olympics. I hope that makes sense. Meaning that whenever there's athletics at the Olympics, we will go live commentary, live commentary, share different advices because he is coming from a sprinting point of view. We are coming from a distance point of view. Hopefully get a filled person or something like that. So we will be going live on Instagram, hopefully Facebook, I'm not sure. Um, live reactions of races at the Olympics. But not only Olympics, we're about to do a lot of things, reactions to a lot of things. So we're also trying to grow that. Um, do follow us. I'll pop up your Instagram here. Now I'll pop up mine here. Up mine will always be here. Um, please do follow us. Please do subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, and and turn on the links. It's about to go. It's about to get crazy. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's about to get crazy. This episode is gonna be released next week, Wednesday or mm -hmm. Thursday. And already on Monday and Tuesday, I'm I'm interviewing some good people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Any last words you have? Uh, I would say all the best to, to everybody. Uh, stay stay safe like this COVID situation will end and yeah yeah you think it will end? yeah uh, nah, I don't know. you don't think so? nah I think uh, I think. I yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll still be here five years from now yeah I doubt it I'm my level two <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah anyway stay safe guys like really yeah yeah look after yourselves mm. yeah that's that's key look after yourself mentally physically and yeah. be good take care yeah